Yo, what's good? It's your girl, Rosebud Shawty, and I'm here to break down my new song, That's Why, produced by my dog, Zone 6 Sosa. How the song That's Why came to be. Basically, uh, I was on Instagram, as usual, um, and my boy Zone 6 Sosa uh, went through his stories and shit, and he was playing the beat. And I basically hit this nigga up like, bro, I need that beat, bro. And shit, he let me know the price, whoop de whoop handled the business with this shit. And you know what I'm saying? Basically, I, I got the beat and, you know, wrote the shit and kind of came up with this shit, man. And I don't know, it's just something about that beat that made me say, you know, what I said on the, on the track. Uh, it was real nostalgic, you know, got some real uh, Three Six Mafia, Hypnotized Minds type of vibes uh, for, you know, the young niggas, probably remind you of some goddamn Space Ghost Perp and all these, you know, newer niggas that kind of inspired by uh, Three Six and shit. See, I was raised on that side to get paid, get high, get that fly, represent till I die, nigga, that's why, say that's why, say that's why. You know, with that hook, I kind of just wanted to... Uh, kind of do some shit that pretty much anybody could relate to, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, wherever you from around the world, um, you could kind of take that hook and, you know, rep, your, rep where you from, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, it's kind of like a, I like to call this shit like a little representation anthem, you know what I'm saying? I ain't necessarily say, you know, where I was from, you know, specifically, so it would be, you know, relatable to anybody who, you know, hears that shit. Lord forgive my sins, but I had to get these ends. My perpetrate, but won't pretend. I stay down to get the win. Might ride round the corner bin while putting OG in the wind. Might be dolo or with Ken. Realness always starts within. With the first bar or whatever, um, I know it's like a, a saying about, you know, doing what you do, then, you know, asking for forgiveness later. So I kind of played off of that with the first bar. And then, you know, I said, I might perpetrate, but I won't pretend. Really just meaning that, like, I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do, you know what I'm saying, to, to get by, but I ain't gonna act like I'm somebody I'm not to do that either, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I kind of just talk about, you know, what I do on the day to day, talk about riding around, you know what I'm saying, blowing OG. I said OG mainly because I wanted everybody to relate to that shit, bro. Not everybody smoking Zaza, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas like to perpetrate like they doing. But, you know, I just tried to make this shit as, you know, relatable as possible while still, you know, giving niggas bars and shit. Uh, but, yeah, then I said, uh, I might be dolo. I might be with my peoples. Might be with my, with my kinfolk. Uh, and then, you know, that realness always starts within. Just meaning that, you know, you if you're not going to be real with yourself, you ain't going to be able to be real with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just kind of drop what I consider a little bit of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? On folks. But, yeah, man. No, I'm just, you know, I kind of tried to set the scene, you know, paint the picture as far as, you know, being raised on my side and shit like that. Done had situations where lines blurred between family, foe, or friends. Same folks saying that they won't hurt you, turn around and do it again. They say I'm the sum of my circle, mine is about the size of a pen, but this broken heart is gonna mend. That's why I own myself a depend. That's why, you know, in life we go through situations where like, you know, your relationships with people are tested. You know what I'm saying? So I was just speaking to that. You know, speaking to people, you know, that you have relationships with saying, oh, you know, I never hurt you. I'll never do that to you. And then turn around and doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just speaking on, uh, you know, once again, where I was raised, my upbringing and, you know, how that uh, and the people around me and said upbringings, how that, you know, affected me, how, how I've, you know, how I move because of those situations. Like I said, because the broken heart going man. You know, that's why I own myself with the pen, you know, all that shit just, you know, tying to each other, just once again, setting the scene for, for, you know, that's why I move how I move, you feel me? And when I'm close to fully healed, I bet you that time reveal, Rosebud, the real deal, realize that even means to end, sad meaning still, that's why fruit can only bear where care can be and still feel, you know, I'm just saying how like my experiences and all that, you know, being heartbroken, woo woo woo. Once I finally heal from that shit and, you know, put it in the music, after a while, people gonna realize, you know, I'm fine at this shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm fine expressing myself, expressing whatever, whatever. And then, you know, 
just once again dropping a little bit of knowledge just talking about even you know a means to an end you know like a whack ass job or some shit you know that st still have a meaning in your life or still have a purpose in your life and then you know fruit can only bear where care can be instilled you know just talking about you know folks like to think the grass green on the other side is really just you know people take care better care of their grass you know what i'm saying than you do you feel me so I got numbers in my phone that's gonna never ring again. They ain't dead, but we ain't friends. That's just how the story ends. With them bars, just speaking on like, you know, in ending of relationships, I kind of took that first bar from uh, Jay-Z. I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember the name of the song, but it's a song he got with uh, Jay Electronic or whatever. But he's saying, you know, he got numbers in his phone that's gonna never ring again. But he talking about how them, those people have like passed away. I'm talking about how, you know, the relationship has passed away. It's not that the people, you know, like I said, they ain't dead. We just don't fuck with each other no more. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, kind of just still, you know, tying in with the, the theme of the song, you know, how how I was raised, how I handle situations type shit. So it's just like, I'm just speaking on these, how, you know, especially in adult life and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of relationships that you, that you have with people. Them shit's just, just dead, bro. And it ain't no, you know, it's not necessarily uh, like people actually die in grief, but you know sometimes you do you know grieve those relationships in the way that you that you do. I do that shit by speaking on that shit in my music. You feel me? Yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles was raised on that humble mumble in the place that was a forest. Now it's a concrete jungle. So yeah, with them bars, you know I'll just talking about once again playing off the ending of the relationships and shit. Um, you know. Uh, a phrase people use is that's how the cookie crumbles. Um, that's how the cracker crumbles. I got that shit from, you know, the song Humble Mumble by Outkast, which is, you know, I say in the next bar, I was raised off that because I was raised off cast. Like most folks, you know, from Atlanta and shit, from Metro Atlanta. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, I just talk about kind of just a description of Atlanta, how that shit used to be a forest, but now it's a concrete jungle. Um, and yeah, man, just trying to, be as descriptive as possible of, you know, actually digging into my, you know, upbringing, you feel me? Just little, uh, little hints of shit that people probably wouldn't catch just off the first listen, you feel me? So, so yeah. Of course I slipped and I stumbled, that's part of finding your way. Went from the minus to major to kick and flavor every day. Be weary of those that try to take your good nature for play and don't tell them folks where you stay unless you trying to be prey. That's why. So with, uh, those bars, you know, still trying to make the shit as relatable as possible, you know. Just talking about how, you know, I slipped and stumbled in life like we all tend to do. You know, it's how that's part of, you know, finding your way through life. Um, and then just kind of talk about how, you know, I kind of grinded to be where I'm at now. Um, and then, um, you know, just to kind of watch out for folks who, you know, take your kindness for weakness and, you know, of course, you're never supposed to tell folks where you stay at, you know, because they never know who plotting on you, you feel me? I keep the heat up close, extra discreet. This the hardest street anthem from someone not from the streets. If I'm apprehensive to meet, look, please don't be offended. Zone 6 got the whole mound crunk like North Memphis, Memphis. Exercise my Second Amendment rights, you feel me? Keep keep a gun on me. You know, it's legal where we at, you feel me, in Georgia. Um, but yeah, and then... um. Just speaking on how like this song hard as fuck, but I'm not no you know street person, and you know I hope that when you hear this song you understand that. Don't come up to me on no rah rah shit, cause I ain't going for it. And you know I'm apprehensive to me. That's honestly just my you know paranoia from experiences I went through in life. And then with the last bar, just saying how you know Zone Six got Stone Mountain crunk like North Memphis. So I was just kind of tying in the you know. The three six mafia uh, hypnotized minds influence on the whole song and just how this shit could slip could be some crunk shit you feel me some conscious crunk shit bro so so yeah um but yeah man that's me you know breaking down the whole uh that's why you know my hardest song to date once again shout out to my dog zone six sosa man like that nigga really like i think that nigga a couple years younger than me that nigga slipped like a real like legendary young nigga man like for real for real this nigga literally got shawty low doing his fucking you know producer tag at the end of the song you feel me like if you ain't know who that was at the end of the end of the song that's that's shawty low's voice like 
he fought with Shardy Lowe, you know, before he was untimely passing. That was like, that nigga, you know, protege, you feel me? So once again, you know, I was just, you know, trying to pay homage to, you know, how I came up, you know, slick how we came up, Zone 6 included, you feel me? And, you know, I just hope people fuck with the record, especially after, you know, hearing this breakdown, because I feel like it's a fire ass record, man. You know, and I do take all, you know, feedback, all criticism. So if you ain't fucking with it, you know, you can let me know too. You know, that's just gonna help me improve as an artist. You feel me? Yeah, man, I appreciate, you know, everybody who tuned into this. Shout out to my boy Wayne Seen It for shooting this for me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boys on Six Souls again. Shout out to my boy Tomorrow Omari. He mixed the track. I ain't gonna lie. I was sitting on the track for a long ass time because that shit wasn't mixed. And that shit just didn't really sound right to me. But when he came back with the, the final mix and shit, I knew that shit was gonna, gonna hit the way it's hitting right now. So, you know, once again, it's your girl, Rosebud Shawty. Appreciate you checking out my lyric breakdown. Peace.